we are making a mistake mm-hmm. of making a moral argument and not a logical argument because the Ghana artist feels that it is a responsibility of the DJ, of the Ghanaian DJ to play Ghana music. Mm-hmm. The only part of that I agree with logically is the fact that we are all Ghanaian. So obviously, it is our culture, it is our heritage, it's the vibe that we grew up on, yes. it's ours. So if we own them. But the part where everybody start change them off mm-hmm. is when they fail to do what they are supposed to do and they want to shift the blame to somebody else. I love working with different DJs mm-hmm. and I call them elite DJs. Mm-hmm. See, but, but, yeah. make, make nobody glorify a like that though. Make you know they glorify a When you're there on stage and the DJ doesn't know what he's doing, that's when you have to come up with 10,000 ideas mm-hmm. of how to make the crowd yeah. fall in love with what's happening. Mm-hmm. I, I remember, I think the first payment I ever get for emceeing, then be 50 cities. Ooh. But the 50 cities, me and that same girl, the MC. So if I share, I'm 25, 25. So we did it. We know not say they do audition for we. So as you did top now, then we tell one, but it, so somebody say, come backstage. If you can, the person will come to the stage top again. Um. So we left me then a couple for the stage. We do the dance. So me, I was like, I said, who me? We're feeling a vibe. Hey. We photographer be there. They way say, ah, Charlie. Watch, 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 watch. What are you doing? I ah, like this. I said, ah, turn around. Oh, sure. Asha, they stand there. Asha, he left in table. Come, they tap, man. Right now, I insult, man. Me didn't even want to tell him, Jim. Say, ah, Asha, they tap man, you. Man, what is wrong? Asha, tap you. This is Asha, you know, what is wrong what with you? What are talking about? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street is Watching. This is... Is the loud lounge, and this time around, Charlie, we speed up in a more professional and digital way. Anytime I talk, say I have a guest, and I say the person needs no introduction, I end up introducing the person. <laughs> That's pretty much fucked up. <laughs> yeah. And quite same totally. But this one, make I introduce him. A son of the land, one of the dopest MCs I've ever come across, real gentleman. And he has this wonderful slogan that goes like, are you mad? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, show some love to my brother, Kojo Manuel. Oh, Hi, supreme. <laughs> a multiple award winning MC. Hype mm-hmm. man. Tell your man, you, you claim this thing, uh, you, you, you claim, sir, to the extent, say, I go claim one of your uh, plaques here for Yankee Give You. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The you, you don't said I don't know who, yeah, who yeah, actually yeah. took it. Oh, Mikwa Jamal. Ah. <laughs> yeah, boy, I'm too, this is my guy. Yeah, this is my guy. You man. just brought it. I didn't know, say, you go yeah, take it. Yeah, I go yeah. take it. I say, I, winner of MC, Hartman of the Year, Kojo Manuel. And nobody, they get out and say, hey, dad, they call my G name. Uh, this, the visa no come. The, the, oh. <laughs> but hey, shouts going out to Hashim, though. He has been one yeah. of the major plugs, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big shouts to him. Big yeah, shouts and, to him. and uh, Charlie, congratulations. You've done so much. You've Thank done, you so much. You've done so much. Why, yeah, Jumano? And I like, I like success stories. And, I like people who are putting in the work. Mm. Um, me for, I think time I'm a tea, Kojo Manuel, and you were saying, say, okay, school, and I was like, ah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we hear this. The school. The school, the, the, the only school. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last week for the Charlie, last night, a mad quiz, but. Charlie, I make more f- on radio, sir. The way hey, people get me. Hey, Charlie, <laughs> the last week, last hour, and the only week. Charlie. Radio. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. I mean, there are a lot of schools who know they reach that level. So. If it's so, if it's so, but how was it like? I, I mean, growing up, Upoku at school days and all that, how was it like? Eh, hmm. Me and my story, my main country, you know, most of me, Kumasi, oh, Nipopa. Oh, because yeah. a lot of people don't know that I'm from Kumasi because me can Sima Kuda, bro. Charlie mentioned one one kishi. Oh yeah, okay. uh, Saka no one Saka. Eh, eh, man Saka. Uh, one Saka. <laughs> it hard for me small, but once I cry and so I be say language. Yeah, yeah. Me catch you na na. Be jina be shi. Yeah. 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 Yeah conservative on say mm. you're quite sorry every yeah. kind of thing so um i think that my first exposure to even public speaking is an man in a church a bible oh i mean a person now you are your friend is having me read the bible bible now they start saying that you see <laughs> yeah, what's in here me read the bible oh youth church near the challenge me a secretary near the what's that say yeah 
But on there, um, sometimes I did be hire a fro. Yeah. Yeah, because in growing up, I never, if anybody told me, say, I'll be like MC, I tell you, it's not true. We lie. I knew that I have a knack for for reading. Me, if I did school, math and science, no, me, like me, yes, I mean, I'm not top, me, mm-hmm. yeah, average. But if you bring any reading subject, I'll kill read. you, I'll go kill you for that. Nice. Yeah, so even class, I'll be the person with the course that can't read. As mm-hmm. I say, maybe, so there's a girl in a class with a nicer voice. Mm-hmm. I was always the person in the call to read stuff. Mm. So beginning, it was like, oh, you won't be lawyer, you won't be mm-hmm. this, you won't be that. But then the more you grow, then you realize what you they like. Yeah. The things that make you happy. Yeah. So Pokuari, for instance, is one place we I really discover who I be. Okay. Because back then, me a net, me a straight book. Okay. My JSS, uh, Adventist Prime, APS. Mm-hmm. I'm a come APS. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm a oh, come APS. APS. Uh, yeah, formal love FM. Yeah, opposite. Opposite on, yeah. 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 That time they need library. We don't mm-hmm. get library. Mm-hmm. So the library then they start them where they bring big box of mm-hmm. books, maybe like some 20 or 30 books. Mm-hmm. That those books in two weeks I read all. Hey. Yeah. So the English teacher say no, made them bring more books. Hard guy. <laughs> if they bring the books, they will come there. I'll go read them. I'll go read all the books. Mm. So it be my teacher. Uh I, I'm very finished him, Mr. Boatian or something. On the time I choose his school, no. And I'll say, no, I say school better than for because once the parents in the month I say, mm-hmm. oh, but yeah, doctor. I'm mm-hmm. say, what do you think? Mm-hmm. And I say, the school that's best for you, so Pokwari. Really? Maybe he really? tell me. He said, he say no. The way I be sharp mm-hmm. and I'm good with the region and all of that. I forgo science school, so say go balance me out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that time. It's like Premper Day here and here. So I had to like yeah. find out about Opokwari. Mm-hmm. And I actually liked the school before mm-hmm. I even actually penned it on the paper that this is a school I want to go. Oh, okay. Where I get them. So when mm-hmm. I enter the space, I was like, yo, this is exactly where I'm supposed it's to not be. Now they the I to Ah, that's the only vibe in that. Oh, so the only know? school on the West Coast, Coast of Africa. See, the on say old school nani pana bang. Like mm-hmm. students, mm-hmm. the students be smart. Oh, yeah. But yes. we know how to have fun. Yes. On say yeah. Like, oh, book, 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 book. You know how to have fun. Yeah. So, zone, you bet your level. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's hey, that? Yeah, guy. Yeah, guy. And you're quite on team cry. Yeah, guy had to the standard. Who best one here could cry? Yeah, yeah, no, Beku. Kumasa had Beku. I'm going to say, like, no, no, no. This be what I come, brothers. Yeah. Oh, um, that yeah. kind of respect, that kind of upbringing, mm-hmm. the Catholic school where they, they allow you to do mm-hmm. at that sense, mm-hmm. the education be important, mm-hmm. the fun there is. Mm-hmm. I think it's the most balanced school ever. Mm. Well, Opo, you're right. Opokwa, um, my days there, uh, they're pretty much the same. I think Oda, maybe I'm going to school here, Ben Kla. Opa, so I can't hear. No, yeah, sure, so I can't hear. Yeah, can't hear. 2001. Okay. Yeah, 2001. Okay. So I'm I'm in the BD. So I'm, I'm a BD 440. I'm a BD 440. I'm a BD 440. We're BG. Yeah. Eh. So, so Manuel is like, I mean, it's a B D E F G. And so yeah, we like, school four years time. That's what I mean. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Children, yeah, children. But you know, <laughs> you know, say, say, that is one thing about Pokua. I was like, what kind of out there actually? Oh, we see what's in the now number is a guy. A guy. And I and I brought for the guy. Oh, I'm on to ask it. I'm going to say no lie. Condom the boys. But but in school, now we we handle. Microphone. Oh, school in a way. Okay. But my knew it too much. I mm-hmm. think say proper direction was the bar, University of Ghana. Mm-hmm. But then um I was SRC Zonal Secretary. Okay. I had like I was in the clubs and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um the fan clubs on school and mm-hmm. stuff. Too. I was it was still like, oh, the nerdy part, mm-hmm. but then also ne- the speaking oh, kaka. Yeah. yeah, program B. Or yeah, MC. Oh, no, but, but no, but my MC was one good. MC, oh, okay, but say because you're SRC meeting every time we're holding to know, like okay. you still have to speak ah, in front of the assembly okay. and things okay. like that. Uh-huh, and okay. yeah. you know, case, uh, it, two it's me, Asante. No, even before you get the position, mm-hmm. Ashanti Regional. Oh, I forgot. Is it Congress? Yeah, yeah, SRC, I think they, they, yeah, they, has, they have a Congress yeah. or something. Yeah, so there's some Congress. Yeah, I think that one. Yeah, yeah, or Prempe or my Assembly Hall. Mm-hmm. So I forgot to stand the address the whole Ashanti region, all the schools. Hard. Dema. Oh, Charlie, who read your name? Name in a shaky, but I was all the film. But also sometimes, sometimes we are nice girl. We are was 
I need beans or Mosun and Amphobi Tabby, you cover off no one can hear. Some of the girls, some of the girls will know back then, pa, and some are never say I catch all my auntie. Oh, Mrs. Here, call me, okay? Kojama knows my special guest. We're going down. We're go, uh, we're going into history a little bit from so from a poker school. Time Ben, I will discover a microphone. Time Ben, pa, and I will show my. So, oh dear, mommy, mommy, this story, mommy, prepare me when I'm in Kanye. So this is actually a very interesting story. Mm -hmm. Now my old roommate is called Wisdom. Okay. So a friend of Weezy. Mm -hmm. um, he's not as cool as the name sounds at all. He's uh, one of them people. Is oh, he? Okay. He's one of those people. He's a very decent guy, mm -hmm. but he's also into them fan clubs and stuff. Okay. So um, we were the first. Um, I think they were the first batch to mm -hmm. enter Jane Nelson when they built it fresh. Okay. Nelson Naka Hall. That is a uh, UG. Uh, UG. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Did you from Pokwa and about UG, UG, yeah, yeah. Course, right? information studies. Okay, so maybe you know, um, around that time they were they were in 400 mm -hmm. and they were leaving. I mm -hmm. think I was this was either 200 second semester or something. Okay, and then Omoye leaves dinner, mm -hmm. but this guy he likes position a lot. I should say, I don't know, some of these things be jokes, but then he likes he like you be the organizing secretary mm -hmm. for there, the yeah. first organizing secretary, but he's also. Supposed to be an MC. Okay. So he organized the Leavers Dinner by himself and mm -hmm. a few other people. Mm -hmm. And he planned that he was going to be the MC of the event he was organizing. Mm -hmm. But when the events reached there, way, he realized it, the mm, there's too much going on if I work on. So there's no MC. Mm -hmm. That time he had a, we had a room, mm -hmm. I did my laptop, I did watch the Big Bang Theory, we said, mm -hmm. the movie. Mm -hmm. Frustration, he entered the room, then he left. They entered, then come, come back like the fourth time. We watch me, we say, ah. You say if your English no bad like that. Come MC. But you see, you see the, the mentality say senior, senior no day university. Uh -huh. But me, I've always been yeah. very respectful. So it's like if you day ahead, I still go give you that respect. Yeah. But I can't say I come and MC. I was like, What's up? What are you talking about? And so mm -hmm. this be what I they go through. I can't mm -hmm. be the MC and still organize it. So come and do it for me. And I was like, nah, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't a be new territory. Mm -hmm. There's not something I've never like, actually hosted an event. Mm -hmm. And this guy just, he was like, come up for that. He opened my drawer and he now picked an outfit and ironed it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, say me, then you day here like yeah. this. I say, yeah, be my man, say, oh, slim and you're sure. Then you, they iron my shadow. Then I was like, hey, with him, but boss, they do that thing for me there. Then it's really critical. So yeah. I for do them. So that's how it was a dinner. Okay. And then on the day, Charlie. Say you they sweat some kind of sweat your yeah. leg. You then they talk say your leg they popo. <laughs> <laughs> your leg they shake and this. But then that was my first ever. So mm -hmm. whenever people talk about hype man, I always like to do MC hype man. Okay. Because I started off as an MC. Okay. Like I wanted to. That was your first yeah, experience. Yeah, my first experience was a, as an MC. Okay. So then as a formal MC. Mm -hmm. So I went through that a couple of events there. Okay. And then. I started to become like very familiar with the with the vibe, and mm -hmm. then people are like, "Oh, he's good, he's good." And then it's one of those things where me, I did it under pressure. Mm -hmm. and then I had a couple of people say that, "Oh, he's good." Mm -hmm. And now my head make big. Uh, so yeah. from that from that time, you start you start the charge, or that that should you charge? You take, you take <laughs> no, some the first coin. one they know, or they give you some fried rice. <laughs> that fried rice will go come later because <laughs> beginning they <eat> free. <laughs> Okay, hey, free for a while. Mm -hmm. And Sana, be the, the thing where you make as you say, no, I forget, take something, be say. Mm -hmm. They give me co cool MC one time. Okay. There's a lady, nice lady. Oh, we do the thing finish. As he say, then they give her an envelope. I say, ah. What's up? Now, this be how we they play for this side. Why they give her an they envelope? You know, they give her, <laughs> say, oh, you know, say, and they promise me, say, next time. So the next time, they say, oh, money no day. Ah. But, but, show day. Ah. We do the thing finish. Where the show they are? Oh, the show finish show. Oh, oh, a vex. Bonus also. Another event. I, I remember, I think the first payment I ever get for emceeing, then be 50 cities. Oh. But the 50 cities, me and that same girl, the MC. So if I share, I'm 25, 25. Ah, no lie, bro. <laughs> yeah, 25 cities. For Accra. For Accra. University of Ghana, G. Nelson, Accra Hall. If anybody say how they lie, make it come. 25 cities was the first, yeah, first one be cho. The cho said we finish. So we saw girl, girl be the home in my bona. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah, they're not a crowd on the side. Now we could do it. I know the car will happen after, but yeah, 25 cities. Hey, mafia. Yeah, mafia. 
So um, this be this be the part where the story they get some way because then we they can't do whole week. Mm-hmm. So this was um, the time they, they were leaving. So mm-hmm. when we were in final year, yeah. Um, then um, tea bag. Mm-hmm. Anybody that knows tea bag knows Hello. what I'm about Hello. to say. Hello. So tea bag was the first person that actually went like, we should make sure we are using our own people. He was the first person that fought for me, and I value that because tea bag wasn't my friend. Mm-hmm. See, be different. Say if you then a person they vibe or if they see him. I know if you see him, the hala like I did pass, but for some reason he had seen me mm-hmm. host one or two, and then he mm-hmm. was like, "No, this is the guy." So he would always fight for me, put him on. So then whenever I see him, it's like, "Yo!" Then I became such a big fan of him, and he used to ride bikes. So okay. everybody at Jane Nelson and Elizabeth say at that time knew that mm-hmm. the boy, the macho boy, with the ride bike, that was yeah. T bag. Yeah. So um, when we we're about to do the whole week, we we have convo around the thing when they so the artist night. No, every day we have activity. Mm-hmm. But you know, when you're very passionate about something, you won't do everything. Mm-hmm. So me, I don't understand why the launch and be me at the MC. So he was like, oh, he will get back to me. And then I know here for mama, where the day reach. So I reach there, as he says, some guy wears suits and things. Hey. We prepare notes. I see that thing, but my heart. What's up? What's up? Why another MC day there? Me and me, then you people. Me, then you people, they, yeah. I think, say me, and they do that thing. So after, I think it was that night, no, I see him for the whole way. I say, bro, what's up? What's up? Charlie Puno try. And he go do like they support niggas, but I know they support. We are walk off. So I walk off. I think the launch was like a Sunday. Mm-hmm. So Monday, Tuesday, and then um, I always forget the name of that gate. When you pass the Noguchi side there, that mm-hmm. gate, they go the shell there. Mm-hmm. And then be like, you go outside, he they come. No, no, then he was leaving campus rather. Where he meets the car, they climb up, like, up like this. We crash into him. So oh. the thing was so bad that the first, the JCR people go, the hospital first go check. They go check, we they tell, we say, they call you, they tell, they say, we, 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 they prepare to come or make nobody come. Because it'd be critical. He spoiled the whole whole week. Because you know if you continue, because that he's, he was the organizer. Oh, he was Charlie. the one that replaced uh, Wisdom. Oh, okay. So then now, you go get accident now. Around the time before do um, artist night and things, we do vigil. Charlie. Yeah. That be the first time I cry for outside. Oh. That same pain me wow. because the last conversation, and and I think there's a part of that thing that has stayed with me mm-hmm. through and through because if somebody have my back, I won't have your back yeah. too. But if you don't give me the right energy, I won't stay away from you. It's not like mm-hmm. it's not like I hate you. <clears throat> But they say your energy no good for me. And mm-hmm. sometimes people, they misinterpret that to mean that, oh, you don't like me. Or, no, mm-hmm. but the effect you have on me, I don't like them. Mm-hmm. Okay. The effect, because I've been generally peaceful guy, but I've been mm-hmm. one of them people where I'll be very patient till you push me too far. Mm-hmm. So if I see, say, ah, slim pushing me. Mm-hmm. Also, they poke you. Are you the poke me? Like, yeah. you say somebody go, somebody go feel throw you, but mm. you damn be calm. Like, yeah. you be cool, so, and how. Mm. But Obika, a show more. Yeah. Like, because maybe you expect some kind of love and yeah. vibe from that person. And the person, they poke you, say, it What's enter up? you. So now, if you see the person, you won't do something. So, mm. the best thing is, they yeah. can stay away from you. Oh, okay. But like 50 Cent said, I don't want no problem. But if you want a problem, no, no problem. problem. That is it. <laughs> is here and, uh, Real quick, as you enter the business inside, um, undoubtedly you kill him. No, mm. nobody will talk to you, no kill him. You kill the whole industry. And I'm talking on the on the angle of all the major concerts in, in Ghana. I've I've seen you on virtually could you know it's on virtually everything? I can't mean who's yeah. ABR. What that I do milk uh, the canal <laughs> and I, 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 I no go mind though. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do. I do I <laughs> but you are on everything. He, the yeah. guy is on everything, every show. Um, the only show I don't see you for top would be um the Global Citizen. Were you on Global Citizen? I was on the no. Global Citizen. Wow. <laughs> I There's did one Global, Global Citizen. Citizen. What about Afro Nation? Oh, and uh, Afro Future. Which one of them? Afro Future actually from 2017 every year. You did it. I I did top since the beginning. Wow. Uh, Afro Nation way. Uh, I've I was on Afro Nation just for a short period because I had a, a set with Varoski. Oh, okay. But I, I, I wasn't on it officially, but mm-hmm. I've been on the stage to do a set with Varoski. Yeah. So, but, but sad journey, you know, to get on this, on these stages from 25 Ghana cities 
to two hundred and fifty thousand <laughs> so dollars. You start, you start tier one city from the twenty five. You say twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. Yeah, and my year fifty seven. We told him tax. <laughs> we told it. They were not like that. <laughs> we told him tax. Yeah, from twenty five Ghana cities to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So come on, <laughs> surprise mark na me settle. I no shout. Yeah, I no go shout. One shout. <laughs> From that, from from the governor, yeah. Then you see what what led to that massive trans- uh, transformation. So um, there's something that happened. It's a bit similar to even the tea bag story. Okay, that happened. That taught me a lot. It's probably the thing that shaped me. Like actually, two things. So the first thing was um, beginning. Then I wasn't getting like a lot of opportunities. Mm-hmm. You know, after the Jean Nelson, shouts to Adam Agbana. Um, I think he's into politics now. Agbana, Therefore, yeah. Yeah, so Adam was one of the people that told me that, yo, you're dope. I'm going to put you on every SRC event that I can put you on. Mm-hmm. So every, I think like two or three years in a row, SRC at this night, me mm-hmm. now the host. Mm-hmm. And then the whole week started to, after me year school, no? mm-hmm. we now they can't see, say, oh, this guy be good. So then they, they, they bring you back to school. They bring me back. So I joined Echo right mm-hmm. after school. And then Echo, to Echo House. Echo House is a place where everybody be hard nigga for there. Nice. So to get Echo House to go like, oh, this be one a guy, it's mm-hmm. not easy. Mm-hmm. So um shout out to Sheldon as well, because Sheldon was there when mm-hmm. I came. And then small, small, there was an event at UCC mm-hmm. where I actually told them that Charlie, I want MC that thing and say no, because it was the launch of Vodafone X. Okay. That brand at the time. Yeah. They were like, nah. And then by accident, small, it's a long story. So like small, small, I went to the place just to go chill. And then whoever was supposed to be the MC did not come. Oh, and I and they don't have option. But on the day at UCC, it wasn't like a thing of straight up like, oh, if the person don't come, they are the man for do. They gather all the MCs for UCC. Carry we put the stage top. So we were like seven or six hey. MCs on the stage. Uh, this guy was actually part of it. Um, he's a, he's a, I don't, I mean, he's a blogger, but I don't know if he's actually actively doing that. Felix, I'm Felix. I'm Flex. Is it I'm Felix or something? Uh, he was with Zalophone. Yeah, okay. Uh, F- uh, Flex the blogger. Yeah. He did de- de- Yankee right now. Yeah, he did Yankee yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, Flex. Oh, shout out so, to my So G. that's that's how I, back then, I used to call him a couple. Okay. Yeah, that's, how, that's how I met him. So mm-hmm. it was him, me, there was this girl, and then three other guys. So we did a stage to plenty. So we did it. We know not say they do audition for we. So as you did top now, then we tell one, but it's somebody say, come backstage. If you can, the person will come to the stage top again. Um. So we left me the Nakapo for the stage. Nakapo is a dope MC. Okay. I don't know what, but then that should go frustrate you. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happened where he left that MC. to go do the blogging. Mm-hmm. But then life, yeah, that'd be how he did. Yeah, 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 he left yeah. me then, um, and they turned out to make he left stage, he vex. Because he's one, he's that person that was, I learned later that when there's any big concert in Cape Coast, he was the he guy. Oh. So he don't understand What's up? why they come out. Maybe stripes say legit. Now that I'm more bad, I'm more bad. Yeah, where they make it left. So um, I think after that, I when I found out, it became cool. But then the event was so good that after that, the Echo House Monday morning meeting because I used to work at Echo House. Oh, okay. Me a digital marketer. Oh, me na me post the magazines near day back in the day. You the bab so. My, my, my job my new events. Mm-hmm. So when that thing they come, when I won't do them, they, 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 they didn't ah, take me that serious. Okay. So after but that- they had not seen you perform in school. They had well. seen me, but then that goes back to the thing about Echo House, you have to over impress. Okay. For them to feel like this be the guy. So then it was that event where I held it down the way they, the way they wanted. And since then, now they decided to fuck with me and put me on mm-hmm. events and all nice. of that. So then it came through to a point where now, the Vodafone X concerts, Sarko did the headline, mm-hmm. Papi and Joey, mm-hmm. where we, from UCC to um, University of Ghana yeah. concert. I think we did um, Koforidia Poly, mm-hmm. I think. Then came to do Kumasi later. Yeah. Yeah. So, all of these things, me are day on. So, in my mind, eh, my blow, Wahite, me a star. So, if I enter somewhere, I expect everybody to know me. Mm-hmm. But in through that, you no. Know, Where's one or two? Who are you? Who are you? But when I'm saying, ah, no more lie, Like, I was getting ahead you of my, my time. 
<laughs> and I was like, no, I was getting ahead of myself. So that thing taught me a lesson. Mm-hmm. So since then, if somebody tell me, you say, you did, you, did, you spoil everything. You say, I make quiet. Yeah. I don't know how to react to that thing because mm-hmm. I cut that thing off. Okay. Because I realized say, it be work. Yeah. It be work, focus. Like, yeah. forget about the fans. Mm-hmm. Go do a- Go do the job. Like, people live too much for the fans. Mm-hmm. Say, yeah, 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 I do something. If you tell me, say, I spoil it. But it's, 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 it's nice to... Ce- I mean, celebrate yourself but, once but, in a while. But isn't it better to just do the thing and focus on it than to expect it and not have it? Okay. So so it's like, now the fans, they come home, mm-hmm. but it doesn't move me mm-hmm. because I've, this story I did tell you, this be like seven years ago. Mm-hmm. So my heart in uh, right now. You see, you are numb to it. I'm numb to it. Yeah. And it helps me to be focused. Okay. If not to three me or day, if some mm-hmm. girl be... Then it's about two comments to see. Then what did you say? Then second picture, are you mad? Then 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 no. Then you lose focus. Now you hold the mic, say who hold the onka. Yeah, I know so. But those things don't get to me anymore because mm-hmm. now it's like you've seen it all. It's like okay. So what what what, what, what highlight event man now OMC uh, you you say be that's like highlight of so far the highlight yeah. of your career. Oh, it definitely has to be global citizen. Global citizen. Yeah, because the stage. Supreme, I don't go lie you. Tell Maybe me. Maybe from this side, go all the way to that side. Now, about back car. I was talking to say. We're bread. The stage. That's a good one. Yo. So, 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 if if I'm to calculate eh, mm-hmm. in my mind, mm-hmm. you see some of these big con street. Let, mm-hmm. Let's use a street concert. Yeah. Um, what's what's the normal size of that self? Uh, like a tw- forty by forty. They have forty by forty. Forty by sixty two. Forty by sixty. Let's yeah. say forty by sixty. Mm-hmm. In the 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 width like this yeah. from the stage in front, mm-hmm. from that side to that side, I will feel talk say if you no know, go crowd, no be like eight or ten. Mm. Yeah, from hey. one end to the other end. There's, there are parts of the stage I not my leg no touch till I left the stage. That's God how big it damn is. It. it was long. It's like you know, you know, long crowd. Then will be like ten of that. Wow. And then there's a part that goes in like the runway mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Where that one to get circle. Yeah, I think that's where Uncle yeah. Waffles come yeah. play in set for. Yeah. yeah. So that one to get in own length. Bad. So if you walk from the left side. To the right side, come enter inside, go come back. Bro, you you tired. Burn calories, heavy <laughs> <bar>. <laughs> <laughs> and and the artists that were on it from Asha to Stormzy mm-hmm. to Caesar to all of that, bro. I know I've been on stages with the likes of Sarko. Yeah. yeah, you know. Right now, when you when you're there in Ghana, they, of course, you be on stages with them for a long yeah. time. But for that kind of level, it's definitely mm-hmm. different. I, I think I saw a video of yourself and Asha. Uh, yeah. And Asha oh. was. I almost forgot that one. So there was a pre-party uh-huh. to the Global Citizen at uh, Front Back and okay. I'm the resident MC there. So mm-hmm. that night, me, in my mind, I didn't even realize that the stars, some of the stars go there. there. Mm-hmm. So I did do my thing and somebody's like, hey, Usher, they here. So I was like, ah, I watched and I actually see him in the Raymond corner. Nanga, Raymond, I said, Raymond, they here. E. Confessions, he did hey, here. These are my confessions. <laughs> No, you like no, yes, yeah, no, no, no. And you know, your mom be cool. They wear some big. I never go forget this day. I think, I think it's definitely one of my highlights. Yeah. Even, I think I value that night even more than the event itself. Wow. For for a reason I'm about to say. So, when I realized they say he did there, mm-hmm. and they play the I'm a piano. So I'm a piano, I'm a piano too. The beats be crazy. The beats they go out. Mm-hmm. But then I think like a couple of months before that, then he had done like it was a. Like, um, then COVID era no end mm-hmm. really like that. So then the Tiny Dex mm-hmm. performance is near, you know, it mm-hmm. became a little popular. Yeah. So he did one of them mm-hmm. and then he went viral because he was doing this, watch this, mm-hmm. watch yeah. this, right? So as the beat they play, no, we archive that thing, we on the beat, watch this, watch this. So he heard it and then he just watched me like this, where he do the, watch mm-hmm. this, where he do the dance. Ad. So like I have like a small clip called "I Be Dark." We do the dance. So me, I was like, "I say, woman, we're feeling a vibe." Hey. But yeah. No, but that's that's, that, why, that we that that that's why we are living. That is why we are living. I say, woman, vibe, we're feeling me. That be all. So oh, I continue to do my thing. I do my thing. So my back 
they face the side that he did. Mm -hmm. Where I say somebody they tap my leg. When you say no be big stage, be front back. So yeah, the, the big yeah. the stage no be that big. Yeah. So we they tap my leg. Somebody they tap my leg. But usually, go for better tap on our DJ play this. So mm -hmm. sometimes I know on yeah. mind. We photographer be there, they say, ah, Charlie, watch, 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 watch. We doing ah like this. I said, ah, turn around. Sure. Asha, they stand there. Asha, he left in table. Come, they tap my. Right now, I insult my. Me did me want to tell him, say, Asha, they tap you. Man, the wrong. Asha, they tap you. This is Asha, what, what is wrong we are with talking you? about. Asha, is tapping you. You, you know my now. You didn't hear the watch some bartender. <laughs> bro, he they tap you. So I turn around. Bro, it was like, I couldn't believe that I'd be Asha. So, first thing we say, mm -hmm. in, in, in MC, I tried to be as professional as possible. So my mind went to the fact that maybe he wanted a request or something or the goal well that mm -hmm. he wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. So I just immediately go down. I was like, oh, what's, what's up? up? And I'm trying to be cool. So I was like, oh, Mr. Raymond, what's up? I'm saying, but let me just say minimum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Raymond, what's yeah. up? And then my man's <laughs> like, yo, man, you're dope. Got but okay, and I said, yeah, my ear do like, no, that no be what you hear. I said, I'm sorry, when I say, when I say, when I say, huh? When I say, man, you're dope, man. I've been listening to you like the whole time. You're on fire, man. You're killing it. Jesus. Bro, I don't know what to make I tell him. Jesus. I don't know what to make I tell him. So like I freeze. I just do like, thank you. Thank you. Where well, then he put, like he did look for something. I say, what's up? I say, no. He for call the person who they handle him. Mm -hmm. So I even have the picture. Maybe after I'll, I'll give it to you mm -hmm. so you guys can project yeah. it. Um, he they call the person who they handle him for the trip top. Mm -hmm. Make the person can holler me. Wow. Make he see, say, yeah, that be me. So when the wow. person, and he actually stand there Text, me call somebody, say, make them call the person come. And the whole time, he just stayed there, wait, make the person come. Before God before the it. photographers said, they realized what they go on. With the monster, they cut, cut pictures and things. Bad, man. I was like, yo. So even after the uh, global citizen, mm -hmm. um, he he was even like, oh, Charlie, so they go do this thing. So if I need anything, make I talk to the girl. Okay. So the next day, then you do brunch. But then, in, then like you know, say then like you also built to perform on that stage. No, he didn't know. Oh, okay. He didn't know. So I told him uh -huh. that I was actually supposed. To, and then he's like, "Oh, we will meet and we talk." But we actually know if we meet okay. because of the way the backstage mm -hmm. was like. So afterwards, then the girl texts me, say, "Then go do brunch the next day." Mm -hmm. So make her come. Okay. So be them. They invite me to the brunch. We mm -hmm. are go see a movie. We, but that one too, people swam them. So we never really like had a proper conversation. Okay. But then I appreciate it not because it be Asha Raymond. Mm -hmm. This is what people get wrong. Mm -hmm. Because me, my thinking be a little different. Mm -hmm. Asha Raymond has been a superstar for a long time. Yeah. He's done a lot of tours. Mm -hmm. He's seen a lot of shows, a lot of events. Definitely yeah. been to a lot of clubs and seen a lot of hype men mm -hmm. and MC. So or catch him and say, you are dope. Mm -hmm. Bro, I mean, say he's gone all around the world. And, and it feels he like you are one you. of those people. Yeah. I think we dope and yeah. bro. Not that, because he's a famous artist, yeah. but because he's been everywhere. Yeah. He's seen a lot of yeah. dope MCs. Yeah. So if he says I'm dope, bro, nobody if he tell me savage shit right now. No, 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 no. Nobody. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> nobody. So, why a bit my club being my Unless Beyonce. Or Jay-Z. Beyonce or Jay-Z can't they have baby I and understand. Yeah, yeah, we go pipe down. If you know it's Beyonce or Jay-Z, or can you forget? But then uh when when I think there's a video. Uh, the video at, at the branch yeah. and uh, Michelle said I saw like I saw Kojo Manuel and uh, automatically me they rate be an evil me trim be a semi me ma me fre Kojo Manuel for sure I, yeah. I started adding a couple of zeros yeah. to it did it affect like that cool sign or endorsement no, did it, it? yeah it did it did but then the the sad thing about the industry they inside we say mm -hmm. a lot of the people don't want to accept. There are people that don't want to accept that, okay, you have put a lot of things in your brand. Your brand is becoming bigger. And for that reason, you deserve a bigger paycheck. Uh -huh. So um, there are people that refuse to, Charlie, this be on a budget, that's what we do. But then these same people will pay a lot of money for Understand. foreigners yeah. and pay someone's flight and all of that to come and DJ or come and MC. Uh -huh. Pay them thousands of dollars and then when they come and they don't even do their job well, they will someone come and call you that, hey, you know the crowd. But if you knew that I was the one that knew the crowd, why don't you pay me that money? Yeah. Because if you did that, then I will kill myself yes. way more than I'm already doing. Yes. But then definitely it had an impact on the bigger festivals mm -hmm. and the bigger shows. Yeah. Because now everybody knows that, oh, he's that is the go to guy. This the is the guy. The same guy, the guy that Asha said was dope. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, say, baby, there are places where it's just numbers. 
and and you know references and yeah. okay, who are you? What have you done? I've I've been on stage with Asha yeah. Raymond. Yeah. So if that thing comes in the conversation, yeah. boom. But it be one our own people there, you know, it be day plus. It be them way they say. Uh, but I know you be one a person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. 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 I put it with Brandy yeah. But then being on stages with with uh, our our own superstars and uh, superstars from other countries, may I sure say there are things that they are doing right that you've seen probably backstage and all that. Yeah. What are some of the things that differentiate and call for for more? I think I think it's preparation. Okay. Pre- preparation and resources. Mm-hmm. I can't I can't take the resources part out. Because the preparation, um, let me start with the resources. Of course, Aiska. Aiska, yeah. And uh, if you want to do some put some props on stage, because mm-hmm. we still remember Shatawale coming to uh on a, a, a crane yeah. for Guinness eruption. Guinness, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you understand. But then them is like every performance. If for do something, it's like there's a budget. For something. For something they for do. Yeah. So Global Citizen behind the stage and a couple of other events where I've seen big, like uh, foreign artists perform, you realize that like the whole team, mm-hmm. like uh, even Black Star Line Festival, mm-hmm. the, uh, uh, Toby, yeah. Toby guy, like you see all the girls wearing the outfits, you see the, they sold the shadow for the performance. Wow. You understand? Wow. Yeah. But then that's something that our people will be like, the system to day monk mm-hmm. because you see a Scott lot of me. artists just pull up and you pull up like how you shudder say, maybe they go meet some girl for the junction for look fresh. <laughs> you know, they say you look bad though, but then you're just looking and I'm not blaming them. Yeah. I'm not blaming them because how much money they make in the first place for yeah. the space to put budgets behind every, it's kind of crazy. So mm-hmm. you understand? So mm-hmm. for them, the resources, they allow them space to do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. But the thing where they have over us mm-hmm. is preparation. Okay. Because most of the events have like proper production mm-hmm. behind it. So, you go global citizen, the stage mm-hmm. for every performance. Then did the backstage there. Oh, okay. They dismantle everything. Mm-hmm. So um Stone Boy, they come. He get sometimes it's just small riser, then go put for them. Mm-hmm. That small riser, then go put them together, like maybe 20 minutes before in performance. Mm-hmm. Then he get wheels for under. Okay. A lot of people don't notice that. Okay. So uh, I play Global Citizen with Mike Smith. So mm-hmm. Mike Smith in setup, the DJ setup has wheels under it. So finish when, when we finish now, then they push the thing go. Then they go push the setup for Stone Boy can put there. Mm-hmm. That be the time where they place me. So half the time they leave me there, mm-hmm. then the lights go off small mm-hmm. for like five, like two, three minutes to make that switch. Yeah. Then they go call me and say, make a come. So when I left the stage now, when the lights come on, Bam. different sets. Mm-hmm. And as the this artist they perform, the other artists in sets, they put them then together put them. already. But yeah, and and there was a funny thing that happened. Earlier in the performance, the lights, one of them are hanging lights, went off. Oh. So they come tell me, say, oh, the lights go off, they for fix them. So they're going to need like 15 minutes to them. So I had to go back and go stand Mike Smith in body mm-hmm. and MC from there. Where they bring the thing down, they fix them, they come back up. Do you know that the people calculate that into the programming? Wow. So in between the performances I was supposed to come, uh-huh. there was one with a tier five minutes. Five minutes with the other one, they don't make a come at all. Because then that one I for do five minutes, so they take ten bon five minutes, five bruni. minutes. And I was like, yo. Bon bruni. Every time they waste, they find some way to um. Wow. Yeah. And I realized why when I went backstage in the evening, because I was stage a, on stage the whole time. So when I went back, I realized that they have, I think they had two or three clocks. Mm-hmm. One did the right side of the stage, one did the left side at the back. Mm-hmm. So the production people have screen like this, where they did it, where they mm-hmm. watch everything, where they get timer for every performer. Mm-hmm. So every performer, if you get 20 minutes, it will go down. Then mm-hmm. it will give you extra five minutes for bonus. Okay. In case you chair something mm-hmm. happen. But if the time they can't reach now, that time now they control who for be ready to go. Boss, <laughs> my brony. <laughs> Boss. <laughs> I have seen, you know, <laughs> if, we switch, if we switch, if we switch, can't hear, no. it'll be different ball game no, altogether. But people, when time catch be for, when they search artists, time, the, the, the time catch, be different. the time catch artists for come. Ooh. Now, with, with the call and we say, if they traffic inside, they traffic inside. No, but first off, if, if like the resources be proper, yeah, like all these events, yeah, before the books on hotel, we'll be mm-hmm. like five minutes or three minutes mm-hmm. from the location. Yeah. we for half proper, Sitting area for back. Yeah. We're no be sitting area where anybody they feel just enter. Yeah. 
because uh, right now if you, if somebody they book me where i give them rider self mm-hmm. the rider is basically like the things i need yeah, to work so yeah. i need a place to sit need i need to make sure water, that there's need, water yeah. i need this and that yeah it's cost 90 yeah because half the time if mm-hmm. you give them they won't, they don't even follow it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you understand cost and yes, someone person by you, but the, re- the resources no there, yeah. and the people who have it are taking advantage of that because we are used to that. Yeah. See, somebody has enough budget to do it, but on year because oh, yeah. we are used to not having it. Mm. And when you ask, hey, Charlie, you see, see your body right now? It is a come to right now because as everyone <laughs> talks, say we do right now. You think say eh, yeah, yeah. this country, this con- then they go block you. Say they go blacklist you. I know almost a gig in a buy and fro. Hey. <laughs> Because everyone knows my special guest on the Loud Lounge and we are digging into on one has personal experiences so far yeah. and some of the stuff uh, that he has uh, gone through uh, being the dopest MC. You've won this uh, best MC, uh, hype man MC for how many years mm. in a row at the Ghana DJ Rose? <laughs> Funny, it's not, it's not in a row. Well, I've won it twice in a row. Twice in a row. But the first time I won it was 2019. Okay. Uh, and I won in 2022, okay. and then this year. Okay. So, what, what, when you are three of them, Three right? of them, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, and the same uh, year, you also won uh, uh, the Ghana, Ghana Entertainment Awards, Awards USA. In, in USA, yeah. And then, um, hey, why not? And then Ghana Event Awards. It's a whole gist. Ghana <laughs> Event. Oh, AMB is six. Eh. Oh, Jim Kwan. Eh, six, six pet. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, it was all Jim Kwan. Like six, or eight, seven, no? Because uh. then Fame Awards, yes. Fantastic. <laughs> And yes, M C Kwan or you, I brand tell to me chain. M C Kwan or yeah, he's also a radio presenter, uh, or YFM. Yeah, and uh, you're on the drive of your life. Yeah, yes, I think I saw a new artwork. Uh, DJ Music is now with you. Yeah, Music and, and, this and, week, no. Yeah, this week, no. officially. Yes. And so you were doing it previously with uh, Mike Smith. Mike Smith. Yeah. And uh, you have so much like a uh, DJ Ni M C D. It's a rice and stew. What they are yeah. saying. Uh, DJ Ni M C D. We are there. There's there's cups and bass with DJ Loft, which is yeah. doing extremely well. It's Charlie, like, we did chart top right now. I think today we're at number eleven on the top albums for Ghana. Bad man, cups and bass. Yeah. You know how, how deep aqua. So let me give you this one. I think we were we were, we were in New York and um, we I think we got to one joint. Now was a cobble or one joint to be bad. Ni enyen mi mi enyendru ho. So. I was my, my hotel in Manhattan, so I, okay. we had to dash. We we're in New York, New York, so we had to dash, go back to Manhattan, get it, and come and down come back. downtown ah. Manhattan for the show. Okay, let me see a drew hall. It was cups and bass because they were they were waiting. There was only one DJ built to Yo. perform. They were waiting. On more training, you know, they had they had slot in cups and bass because. I mean, sure someone said Chen was a Ghanaian yeah, mixtape, mixtape, and that was one thing. I mean, cups and bass. We don't yeah. say outside no more. We say, we Audi. We say, Kai! As far as I Bad man. Bro, Shale. that is how big it is. That yeah. is, and congratulations on that. Like, even in Accra, most part of the country, but most pubs, joints, have a Fabiano. See, they play. The story of Cups and Bass to be most, I'm very convinced that. You say when people become very successful. Yeah. The Kai, when I was younger, when people are very successful and then they, they, they talk to my story. But then I find myself, I've realized that that's that'd be how life did. Mm. Because lockdown, mm-hmm. where I was like, no, everybody they go live, they do this and that. I will find something mm-hmm. to do to engage the people because outside close, mm-hmm. there's nothing else. Ah. But that was the time I got the shot to do the drive. Mm-hmm. So then that was holding me, but I was like, no, for the people who did the streets, there's nothing they there for them. Mm-hmm. So the initial thing was the Playhouse Mix. It okay. wasn't Cups and Bass. Okay, play it was the Playhouse mix. mix. So that was my idea Okay, where I put three DJs on. Mm-hmm. Be a 30 minute set. Mm-hmm. So I did a couple of that with Loft, mm-hmm. Mike Smith, uh, DJ Milzy, mm-hmm. and Dow DJ, mm-hmm. DJ Sleek. Okay. So then I think I did uh, three, and I think there was one with Putin as well, okay. Putin on it. So I always put three DJs on and I do like three of those. So when I did do them, I did do them. Where Loft comes, say, Charlie, the thing you do, because then when he brought in his 30 minutes mm-hmm. and it was like, the thing you do, do make we do them together. Mm-hmm. To be very honest, I was like, I did do my thing. What's up? I don't want to make anybody come there inside. We'll and can't in buy our yeah. <laughs> so the beginning, I don't want to give her mind. Then Loft will call me, Charlie, we could do them. So the thing that actually made it work was YFM 
So we started doing the party pressure thing because mm-hmm. I used to host party pressure before I started doing the drive. Oh, okay. So when I started doing the drive, and then I'm my show too. Yeah, Killer Fingers was doing it before yeah, he can't give me. Yeah, so that show they get special place for yeah. my heart. So now because I was doing the drive, I told them that I know what fit do because this be Monday to Friday, mm-hmm. main time for Saturday. Saturday come. Come, yeah. So then it became a thing of we turned it into something bigger mm-hmm. where we have all the DJs come mm-hmm. and then presenters who. BMCs mm-hmm. and then maybe like from 6 p.m. to midnight, yeah, and jam, jam song. Mm-hmm. So I think one of the very first ones we recorded it in live in Love's house. Okay, so Love's hall, literally mm-hmm. when we recorded and we streamed it, mm-hmm. and Loft recorded it on his thing and then put it up. Okay, so then he put it up and then he, I think a couple of days later he called me. He's like, the thing we record, I put a map. Charlie, the numbers they go. Because Loft does mixes mm-hmm. a lot. Mm-hmm. So the numbers they go is like, no, this one gets some energy for inside. Mm-hmm. So when I go check the numbers, like in like a week, I don't remember the numbers, but then it was hitting 10K in like a couple mm. of days. And I was like, ah, what's up? Charlie, then this thing, ice something day, day there. Ice day inside. So now, another lesson. We do the thing. We we do the first one officially. Yeah. Say right now, we be gas say the thing yeah. hits day inside. So we do them. Now, me and I copy put pen drive though. Mm-hmm. If I go some gym they or some pub, them. then I, or they take give them. Mm-hmm. I will come there the next day, then they play different mix. What's up? I will come there. So then we do another one. Then mm-hmm. we put them out. Then I go. We go come. They know they play them. So after the second one, I gave up on it. I was like, it is what it is. It'd be one of them since we go do them like that. Mm-hmm. So I think we did the third one. Then I start I started getting some weird calls. Mm-hmm. Beginner didn't realize it was caps and beats. Mm-hmm. Cause someone will call me and be like, ah, man, no, you come my area where you don't call me. I say, ah, I don't even know where they stay. He said, I did Tishi. I said, like, ah, me Tishi there, what are they can do for Tishi? <laughs> so I they hear your voice for here. I was like, oh, maybe some MC way mm-hmm. sound like me, no be me. Then I did, uh, ah, Charlie, What's you up? did that so man. I said, no, I know they dance so man. <laughs> <laughs> so beginning was confusing. You know? mm-hmm. I was like, ah, what they go on? So then the thing that convinced me was caps and bass. Okay. Was actually when someone called me from Wa. Mm-hmm. Someone called say, me that he go trip, he go do something for a while, but he hear my voice for a while. And I say, bro, what's up? I don't go out before. <laughs> so that was when I was convinced that, ah, it, be, it might be, be, the, be mix. the mix. Yes. So then it started to pick up uh, and then I started to get calls from, oh, are they Amsterdam? I hear your mix. Are they London? I hear your ah. mix. But be a... Then I call up, say, love, you're never could be why. Let's do another one. <laughs> yeah, you understand. And then small, small, uh, it became a thing of like, now... I would get almost every week, mm-hmm. I'll get a couple of people in my DMs like, when is the next one? Yeah. You can drop it today. Yeah. Three days later, somebody say, I, I learn the music and the things you they talk or finish. Before give so I'll drop another one. I say, ah, we know be recording artists though. Like relax. We, 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 we want them. So um, I think there was one of the mixes if they start with phone conversation. Yes. Because why if I yes. take we go tardy mm-hmm. with some guy calls a... If you know, say day job, like, will come shut up me for the studio there. But why if you drop with a week long? So was that kind of anticipation? Mm-hmm. I said, no, it's building its own yes. vibe and yes. things. But then I use it to also balance the craft. Yeah. Because so, like, are you mad like this? Has yes. its own story. But then mm-hmm. the more they put them in, when you go, people know that, oh, that's the guy. That's the guy. Yeah. And, and you feel a mix, the mixtape um, culture, no? and so... I, ILVT brand number. Oh yeah, very, very, very much. And uh, big shouts to Loft, of course. Mm. Because like I was saying, from the beginning, I wanted it to be my thing with mm. other DJs. Yeah. And then I called the Playhouse Mix. But when we, we started doing it, mm-hmm. we start, even so even the very first one, it doesn't have a name. Mm-hmm. It's just listen back, blah, then some numbers. Oh, okay. But then when we did the very first, the second one, mm-hmm. that's when we, we came up with it. The I, I, I used to work with, I used to be a copywriter. So coming up with names, I need them, I mean. Okay. You remember when I was doing my my mm-hmm. podcast and I mm-hmm. called you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was yeah, supposed yeah. to be called for the culture. For the culture and yeah. then I realized I had something called for the culture and I had to, and I was like, yeah, yeah, I, that's what I used to do. So always love to come like, your friend is saying, so there's one called Kebab and Shayu edition. Oh, okay. And I so, just, and then that. I was taking you to Caps and Bass. Caps and Bass. So then we wanted a name that would represent both of us. Mm-hmm. So, um, it was supposed to be something on the, on the level of, Microphone and decks, and I'm saying, well, yeah, 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 I know yeah. they sound very Mike, good. Mike and the decks, yeah. So I was like, something with the bass, mm-hmm. and then loft. I think loft brought the bass. So then I was there. I was like, ah, what? Me, my own was the problem mm-hmm. because whenever if you add Mike, it, it sounds some corny way. some way. 
So then I was like, no, most of the time, MCs, uh, yeah, the hold cap be there, you hold your mic. It'd be weird if you hold cap on stage. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah most of the time, we would hold. I was like, no, caps and bass. Yeah. And then I remember Gloft was like, make you relax, make you know, use that, make you think about them. The next day, I was like, bro, nothing better go come. <laughs> In all this. And some names, they, when you hear the first time, it sounds whack. Yeah. And then later, you forget. A name like DJ Wallpaper. Mm hmm. It's a very stupid name. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, Wallpaper is my friend. It's a very stupid name. But because you know him, when mm -hmm. I said Wallpaper, he didn't find it as a funny name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so once the brand is solid, I don't think it matters how funny the name mm. is. Mm. Yeah. Caps and Bass, the man behind it, of course, shouts going out to DJ Lot, a wonderful gentleman. You've yeah. also worked with a couple of DJs. You work uh, on YFM, you were with, uh, you were with uh, Mike, Mike Smith. Smith. Yeah. Uh, you're on stage, you do, you do sets with Smith, uh, Verosky. Verosky. You've been doing sets with- a ADDJ. Uh, ADDJ and lots of uh, other DJs. Oh, lots, lots of you, DJs. You also resident, you do residency at- uh, Front uh, back. Front back. Uh, I've seen you a couple of flyers at uh, the new joint, what uh, is it? Uh, Mad. Mad. Um, but uh, Kruna, Kruna is a more consistent thing mm -hmm. every, on a Tuesday yes. with the South Africans. So every Tuesday night. Yeah, well, uh, we don't we'll care what they happen for the town inside. Every Tuesday, every Tuesday night, we day outside. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. But when you need different. But, but Kruna is like one of my favorite places. Uh, oh, really? Front by Kruna. Yeah, because the guys are doing a very amazing job. And Matt, who has his own mm. you know, vibe. So. Before we get into the nightclub scene, talking about DJs and the relationship with DJs, how has it been? Oh, um, I feel like the, the truth the, tr the truth is if you do something and you do put your heart in them mm -hmm. other people can see it mm -hmm. so it doesn't take a lot of convincing to get people on your side mm -hmm. because um let me use this example this is Tema mm -hmm. like a couple of days ago I just I didn't even have DJ Faculty's number okay I go ask somebody take the number I call say Faculty I they come this is Tema I know say a couple of DJs day on but you go day there and I won't do the sets plus you like cool 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 because when you get to a set, and mm -hmm. me too, I'm calling faculty because he has also impressed yeah. me in some way. That's yeah. why I'm huh? so, so if you connect to him. So when you do the job well, but then there are people that feel like, oh, be my guy, you for mm -hmm. put me on. Yeah. And I feel like the job day and the friendship day. Mm -hmm. The job, if you do it well, it will complement the, the, the friendship. friendship. Yeah. So I love working with different DJs mm -hmm. and I call them elite DJs. Mm -hmm. Oh, elite DJs, no no more yes sets now on bro. Umbre. See? But Oh, yeah. Make make nobody glorify a like that though. Make you put no the glorify a When you do on stage and the DJ doesn't know what he's doing, that's when you have to come up with ten thousand ideas mm -hmm. of how to make the crowd yeah. fall in love with what's happening. Mm -hmm. But if the DJ is dope, yeah. all you have to do is match that energy and you're you good. You know that. And you're good. So, so big shout out to all these DJs. Has there yeah. ever been a time you, you got on stage with a DJ where you don't know him, but then Charlie, if you ah the way the guy they played, like you really won't walk off stage. Oh, like, oh, like that bad? Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't remember. It's mm -hmm. happened. But mm -hmm. then in, in recent times, they're that. You know they happen. No. Because in the recent times. They, top, they have enough money to employ elite DJs. Yes. Definitely. Yes. But back in the day, the they, they, they the happened. The money, they, they filter they are out. But then back then, to not come home, you won't tell me my boom fusa. Now they come. Getting into radio proper. Um, How many years have you been with uh, YFM? Uh, I've been with YFM since... 2018. That's the year I lost my mom. Yes. Oh, I remember okay. it very well just because of 2018. So mm -hmm. uh it's been five years. Next year, somewhere mid will be like six. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And how's it been so far at Y? Oh, it's been amazing. Um, it was always my dream to work with Y. Oh, okay. So um, I mean, when it got to that point of trying to get in, it's never that simple. Mm -hmm. You know, because you feel like, oh, you just because you see Eddie Blay for town. Mm -hmm. You know, I've vibe. met Caro for places. I meet Miss Now before. So I thought it was going to be a very easy thing. Sure. But then I realized, hey, bro, systems G day. GME. Yeah. Get money always. <laughs> Get money always. <laughs> so, so you kind of have to earn it. Um, There was actually another radio station I almost went to. Mm -hmm. To avoid Wahala, I won't mention mm -hmm. it. But then um, this person, I knew the, the owner, mm -hmm. right? This person was very down to Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Let's sell the product. Mm -hmm. But I'm very much about learning and being good at what I do. Okay. I feel like if crafting is solid, mm -hmm. you will reach some point and then all the efforts could just bring you down. Okay. So it could have moved very fast mm -hmm. with another radio station. Mm -hmm. But then I always saw YFM to be a place that allows people to grow. Yeah. So right. then 
So that I had opportunity and Facts. I was like, nah, I have to go. So I had to date a date at the play in next top for go do auditions or for go rec- make day there read LPM. You listen to the voice, say we well, know bad. Yeah, really something like that. Like they a... put me for midnight. Good 12, day. 12 to was it 12 to 2 mm-hmm. a.m. Mm-hmm. That time nobody they listen to you. Hey. Unless the people within the hustle that time, then they throw throw inside or they need some barbie where they make nice. <laughs> so if you open phone lines. The kind of people will call you that time. <laughs> I mean, you, you get the normal people to call you, but okay, almost every night, you get somebody who will call you, where they want to go talk, you know, go back. Who will tell you what can I say? But a uh, radio, so, oh, what's it? Thank you very much. And you know, you know how we do that thing, how we do that thing, and say, huh? <laughs> Why <are you> nice? <laughs> We're furious. <laughs> We're furious. <laughs> but the journey was dope. Yeah. Um, I do have to be, give uh, big shouts to Eddie Blay. Mm-hmm. Eddie Blay is more like, Probably my favorite boss. Mm-hmm. Um, he he's been through it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I appreciate it. The because, blase lieutenant. Yeah. So so when you are when you are fucking up, he knows you are fucking up. Yeah. And when um something happened and mm-hmm. it's not really is because you're overwhelmed, he can tell because he's mm-hmm. been in that position before. Yeah. So it makes everybody at YFM loves Eddie Blue. Yeah. And um, uh, Killer Fingers. Yes. Killer Fingers is there. Is there? Killer is the strong hand that we need. Mm-hmm. To make sure that indiscipline no day the system inside. Yeah. Sometimes I miss him, I don't go lie. Yeah. Because when I came, I think we were doing a thing with Origin at the time. Yes. So we had the original beats 30 minute slots. Yes. That was around the time I was doing the midnight. And I was doing it with Killer Fingers. Killer Fingers give me some. You see, you go feel read original beats, then 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 listen to the tune, then you turn the mic off now. That's not how you present. Go he, go give, he go give you left and right, then a the song end. Then now uh, open the mic and talk. Right now, if you are, you are listening to IFM, the game crashes. They don't watch you speak. <laughs> Kasa. But you see, the the and, and I'm not saying it's a, I think it's an amazing thing mm-hmm. because there are places where like if we wake you up. Yeah. There are things that in life, a lot of people get it. I think like me, my proper wake up when I lost my mom. Mm-hmm. Like it wake me up, make I realize, say, hey, you did the world. If you know be hard, it be you. Yeah. And then there are people that go through that they are born with it. Mm-hmm. That'd be why the people they hustle from kiddies always actually make them pass. Mm-hmm. You they come from a good home mm-hmm. sometimes. Yeah. Because you they wake he up, they're waking he, up. He see life early. Yeah. Yeah. So you be hard from the jump. So Keller instilled that in. Mm. Yeah. And uh and he was he was grateful enough, like I said, the party pressure was a yeah. show. And then when he was leaving town for a while, he was like, I want my role to host the show. Mm. I mean, I wasn't even at the meeting. That's what I heard. So if it was a lie, I beg. <laughs> but that's what I heard. But then I was, I was, I was given the I show, and I actually didn't expect it. Yeah, I know. And, yeah, and I think the, another thing is that I put in a lot of. I was very intentional mm-hmm. about proving to YFM that I was serious about okay. doing radio. So it was. A, it's a Saturday night. Show, Saturday, Saturday night. night. Show. Uh, uh, parties. Party presents are eight. Eight. Eight to, eight to, eight to midnight. Yeah. Eight to right? twelve midnight. Yeah. And you know that club money will be money. Yeah. Right. So if you will get money, it's usually like the proper events and the mm-hmm. festivals and the concerts, mm-hmm. and that's usually from eight to twelve. Yes. So now at the get gig we at the council semi career radio show. Wow. Yeah. I just wow. wanted to do that just for them to know that oh I'm not here to play. So and then, now they've they've seen the commitment. Yeah, we didn't see Charlie. This guy with a tick can come forward. Yeah. So mm. so, but then I still didn't expect to get a drive because mm-hmm. I think it's like a huge responsibility. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's been That's three. It's, it's it's been three years. So, you are doing ex- extremely yeah, well. It's been but three talking years about though. talking about gigs and all that, I've I've come to understand that the culture of um, MC the MC game has a lot of comes with a lot of. Uh, uh, Issues. There are issues in the MC fraternity. Uh, uh, everywhere, money and w- women day. Uh, money, issues. women and fame day. Yeah, problem day. day. And with respect to Accra, <laughs> I like the way they talk about Accra. Accra, because that's the problem. Accra. Yes. Yeah. Accra. No issues day with 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 MC. Have you ever had issues before, like with the, with other MCs before? No, really. For me, it do any personal. Mm-hmm. It be job. It be job. Okay. You see, any personal, if uh, there's there's bound to be misunderstandings mm-hmm. because we are all not the same kind of people. Mm-hmm. So we take things differently. Um, I think the my biggest issue would be that it do I feel like people forget so easily that it be job we they do. Mm-hmm. 
I think, and, and with the stories I've shared, there are things that make me, when I enter events, my perception, my mentality is different. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something funny. So Sheldon, mm-hmm. right? The turn up. Yeah. Sheldon is the person that told me that you'd be very stupid guy. You did a stage, the girls, they watch you, so if you know, they see. <laughs> because when I did there, I'm we telling talk. you, I'm not lying to you. Like my mind no did there. That's how focused okay. I am when I'm working. So when other people come and it's like, you they play because the, 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 the job is for it to look like it's fun. Okay. But when you actually haven't, haven't proper, proper fun and you drop the professionalism to one side, it makes it look like you don't know what you're doing. Okay. And like I said, if somebody bring energy, I know like, I like stay away from yeah. it because I'll be somebody where you don't want to push me to the limit. And mm-hmm. I don't want, I don't want to get to that point. So mm-hmm. I stay in my side and people take offense to wait when, you know, you you just won't keep your cool you, you won't just cool, keep your cool and do and what still no, I won't but, because if if I'm called to do an event, mm-hmm. right? Sometimes they pay you for hours. Yeah, come MC from this time to this time. When I come this time to this time, and you want to do something else, I'll tell you that no, that this time to this time, let's say they are paying me ten cities. Mm-hmm. That, that ten cities, that ten cities, me they are calculation with me three. My men yana men me ten cities na menko. If after the 10 series you want to misbehave, you can misbehave. Okay. But so, in that period, I'm working. It's so, my office. So that is where people goofy have issues with you. Yeah, because because there are things that we they do mm-hmm. a lot and we feel like it'd be normal. Mm. But in reality, I don't understand why, let's say you book you as a DJ mm-hmm. and they can't play, then somebody else go bring in laptop, say, Mamin Bobby. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what say. Yeah. But you, sometimes you feel the event under the now. Some MC go feel come say, that as, I won't grab mics more. I won't, I won't grab my mics more. And I'm like, I did do, Mike, me, yeah. Sometimes, um, there's been times where I did do then, let's say, my time they can't catch. I can be 20 minutes, but the crowd be lit. Mm-hmm. And me now, uh, as he say, oh, me near Jina Hono say, no, he won't. Mm-hmm. Oh, so I so. go forgive you. But then, that mentality that, oh, as you see, I'm not, as you see, I'm not, oh, make I can't take mami nyebi. Mm-hmm. No, because that's why people don't respect the craft. Mm-hmm. Because it looks like somebody just walked from his house and you came know, to pick know, a mic. You don't know, you know have any idea what Any idea want. what's going on. Or maybe you come, your bomba day crowd inside. Yeah, so you, you won't make want... the bomba say. Yeah. But then in that moment, if you respect me, mm-hmm. you will tell me that, oh, this is what I want you to do for yeah. me. Or maybe when you finish, Give me, make her do something. Mm. But then I think most of our people just take it like, mm. oh, I'll be no be anything. Because majority of them are not looking at it like, actually like, because me, I want to build my life with, mm-hmm. with this job. You like it so much. You like it on yeah, that Yeah, I want to build everything I own, I own because of this, mm-hmm. of talking, because because of being on radio, because of hosting. Mm-hmm. There's nothing I own, you know, come from that. So you won't go inside. Yeah, proper, I won't go inside. Proper. And if you focus enough, you go make. But then people feel like, Oh, money no day inside, and people. And of then course, they treat them some way. They treat them some way, but if you treat it that way, it go treat you that way. Mm-hmm. So if you focus on them, focus on them. Now, them. there's this popular uh, uh, Nigerian comedian, and I saw you uh, retweet his stuff. He put out a video where he was saying that people come to the nightclubs, and you are in the nightclubs, you uh, so you know what what exactly this is. Yeah. Uh, people in the nightclubs, uh, MCs in the nightclubs. Yeah. Uh, focus a lot on bigging up people who are spending so much that they forget, <laughs> they forget everybody else. And then, uh, and it's supposed to be, it's like, Hens, P-E, P-E, yeah, it's like, P-E. yeah, my, my experience be here. It's yeah. like, when you get to the nightclub, this is what they do. Like they have chairs mm-hmm. for, yeah. and those who are not ready to buy bottles, you are left to stand and to stand, or maybe you go feel hang for some yeah, stool be yeah, some stool be for that side yeah. and all that. And he feels that, that the concept of nightclubs and all that, uh, I mean, pubs and lounges will feel, you know, uh, a bit me a pardon or more, but nightclub, nightclub proper, I'm really guilty of that. So everybody's like an extra in a movie or a video set just to watch Uncle spend. <sighs> and MCs have. <laughs> Elevated it and as my escalated conversation so much that oh yeah, big ups to uh, Don Juan. No, or, but big you, know, ups you know the funny thing? 
they always have some kind. Yeah. Don, yeah, don something. Don, don something. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Big ups to Don one. Millionaire happy something, millionaire yeah. cash something. Yeah. Sika, I, I don't want to make you go sound like I'd invest somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, as I, every, and, and it's like the MC, it pushes out to the extent that it, it's like you are there, but you are still competing and you are not having fun. What right. I saw you retweeted and you said, in Ghana, this is a bad day. A couple of names, I bet. Yeah, I bet yeah. yeah. It, 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 it's still happening here. What do you have to say about that? How can that be? So, do you think it's a problem in the first place? <sighs> so um, I'm not I'm not hundred percent for. Okay. But probably I'm a bit more for than against it. Okay. Because first off. It do sometimes we are here argument uh, mm-hmm. we not for be so in fact morality they do lodge like uh, arguments mm-hmm. when we are trying to talk about like fixing issues the social issues and stuff mm-hmm. because at the end of the day somebody built that space yes spent money yes and then realized that okay i need big spenders mm-hmm. so the big spenders are always priority mm-hmm. so the big spender that'd be why when it comes to ghana music conversation Go talk say the big spenders they they request Niger music and the DJs have to play it. Mm, we'll you understand? To that. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll get to that. So like, I understand that is how the clubs make money. Yeah, the same money that we get paid mm-hmm. with, Kidebab. So I understand that. What I don't understand and what I don't like is when we do it so much that now the MC is trying to impress because you know say go figure no go feel for that side. Mm-hmm. Bomba go fit throw some. Yeah. So then they go to Skelly the extent. Scabby bear flies. Scabby bear flies. So, so now you get to a point where you start to disregard the music. Mm-hmm. Then because okay, send back, like you talk one thing and you realize, say, you don't get the reaction you wanted. So then you start talking another thing, another thing. Before you realize, five songs have gone by and you are just talking, talking, interrupting talking, it, talking, uh, interrupting it all the time. DJ pull up, eh, the boss, they done this, 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 this. Then now you get to a point where people are not having fun anymore. Mm-hmm. Then now you're saying things like, oh, if you don't have bottle, you be yawa, mm-hmm. and things like that. And I'm like, that is a bit much. Okay. That At that point, when you get to that point. Now, what wow, for you, person that, who don't get bottle? Yeah. So me, you will not find me do that. Mm-hmm. Because there's something called negative reinforcement and positive. Mm-hmm. Negative, we say, uh, Kidi left poor water put here. Then you lash him. Mm-hmm. But then maybe the next time, you know, poor him, you put for their kama kama. Mm-hmm. And then I'm saying, oh, for putting it there nice, come and take two cities, go buy it off. Mm-hmm. That is positive reinforcement. Mm-hmm. So if you are doing the negative, if you want people to spend, you go feel big up the people who they spend mm-hmm. at the right pace, mm-hmm. make it be, mm-hmm. make somebody feel like, make her do some. Mm-hmm. But at the point where you flip it and you start to talk shit on the people who are not spending, yeah. I don't think you get a lot me, of very good response. Because for me, I've been, there are several times I've, I've figured club yeah. and it's not like I can't buy any bottle of drink where I want, if I want Sometimes buy. Sometimes it'd be preference. Well, so personally, if like you go club, Sometimes me, I feel buy any bottle of drink where I want. Yeah, yeah. Once I want, once I go out, I know what I want. But Charlie, me alone, how if you drink like a bottle yeah. of drink? I don't know if you drink one year, it will not be possible. So I'll just go take some few shots. Yeah. But I still won't be in the moment. And I, when it's quite insulting if you have the MCM, it's like disrespecting or throwing so much light on. Yeah. Yeah, but I get it. You're, you're trying to motivate people to buy, but I can't buy it even at, at that point in time because if I buy them, me then who go drink the thing? See, Slim, even that that is one thing. Yeah. I think for the majority of the people who actually have money yeah. to spend, that is not how to motivate them to buy. Mm-hmm. I've realized that like, it's, it's usually new money. Mm-hmm. If you get money fresh, yeah. where you want show off. So that thing will move you. And then new money always be small money. New money be too old money. Exactly. So people with old money who can actually buy crazy, mm-hmm. they just want to have a good time. That they is want true. to hear the music. Yes. That's why when I the MC, I like to do ad libs way more than talk. Mm-hmm. Because I want you to enjoy the music. Mm-hmm. If you're having a good time, mm-hmm. make I tell you some funny story. We did uh, Nelson, where I go some drink up. I used to be very shy. So like some girls, they dance in my party, say, oh, make a dance with their girls. I Move say, Charlie, yeah. they girl, I don't know them. How I go dance with them? Where they give me Vim, uh, introduce me to the girl and things. But I still be shy. But everybody, they dance with, they cheer and things. So me, the girl, the vibe when I say, I saw so I cry. Oh, now I excited. Say, the vibe never. I said, oh, let's dance. Everybody, the girl say, oh, 
the, the music that they play, you know, they like. So if you make a no worry, if the song they like come on, in the you could dance. Bro, patiently, you stand there. there like 20 minutes. You reach some point, the chat may come non fat, but I did wait to make some song come on because <laughs> I did try to say, the girl go dance. Wait, I've forgotten the song, but it was a song that was really big then. The song drop. The girl who did it, they talk calm, calm. Hey, all of a sudden, yeah. It's that twerk, they mm-hmm. do something. Now my eye gets, before I get close to the girl, the DJ changed down. Pull up, pull up, pull ah. up, pull up. You see, back then, then they used to, um, we have like TV room and things. I forgot, I think it was Quapon or Say, one of them. So then we go do like drink. When did the drink be big? We know they do for the room. We yeah. they, they do for that place. So they, they have DJ and MCO. Bro, you pull up, they got come, pull up, pull up. You know how, one can't shin so any anime ya no. I did not me the idea ni babe ye. So so you see, obey and I say bring the tune back, but he played the song again. The girl say, oh, they spoil the vibe. So you know uh, what Jesus. And after the experience, Jesus. when I hold my, I think about that and I'm like, let people have fun. So me, if I will pull up, it means I have to. Mm-hmm. If I will pull up, it means mm-hmm. say maybe yawa day I for mm-hmm. talk. Mm-hmm. If I want to say something, I will look for space. In the music, then push for that. Because MCD, MC or DJ, what time in any want to meet you, man? Oh, that, 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 that. Yeah, so you go feel fine space in between the music and talk, and they go here you prepare, prepare. Mm. Unless it be some very important thing, you don't have an option. You have to pull up on. You don't have to. You don't have to. The music be more important than anything you will say. Mm. I'm Talk- an M- MC, and I'm te- I'm saying this to you as a DJ. That yeah. music need pass anything. Yeah. Yeah. You need pass how jump you go jump because if the music need no day there, you, we want to the jump too. <laughs> Maybe you are you are jumping out of excitement. <laughs> the anyway, music is everything, Charlie. Anyway, uh, once you did radio top and you you on social media, I mean you respond to a lot of and shouts going out to you. My uh, your, your podcast is amazing. I've seen it. Oh, Charlie, I've thanks, seen a couple thanks. of your small you know, small. Oh, Charlie, you Charlie, by that. your place there, be yeah. like we we at the play <laughs> for step up. Come on, you, you go, you come go. on, but. But some of the recent things that um happening in our system uh would be I mean, a, a national call for uh, the inculcation of local music into our events. Yeah. Uh, since we are in the dirty December and uh there there's high there's influx of you know foreigners and all that. I think uh, yeah. uh, so many people are calling for it. Um there's this girl who's doing a singer thong. If mm-hmm. we are uh she's She's doing 100% local music. She, she plans on singing for 120 hours Ooh. to break there, to break the singathon. Uh, uh, the Guinness, Guinness, Guinness yes, world record. World record for okay. the longest hours for singing. She plans on doing 100% local music from gospel, hip life, high life, anything, all because she wants to get the attention of Ghanaians to focus on local music. Right. Uh, Small God also took to his social media handles to also talk about uh you know, the incorporation of uh, local music in the playlist because he said he went out with um, Stoneboy and Medical, I think, Medical yeah. and then yeah. they were around so many places. They realized that they could count the number of local songs that were played. That should be around five of them. Right. And uh, he's saying that the DJs can do better. Uh, the MCs can also do better. All the, everybody in, this, in the ecosystem needs to do better in pro- projecting it. You work hand in hand with DJs. I, I said my bit of it. I, I believe DJs are a true reflection of whatever the society needs because I'm being paid yeah. to to play what play the people music, want. What, yeah. what the people want. What, yeah. what the people want. What the people want is the things that are in our charts, the yeah. music charts and all that. And our charts are heavily dominated by all these foreign songs. So right. I'm I'm no I I'm in no position in my line of duty to be the one to introduce new things mm, to too. them because yeah. they have it but they decided not to listen to it right you understand so i've yeah. said my piece i think you took the conversation a little bit far and i'm saying charlie i don't want to continue anymore right. it's a national call for us to yeah. you know be patriotic and i do love Ghanaian music that is why i have a company here in ghana we're doing i'm i'm doing so much for the you know the creative on the local scene yeah but for you as an mc You've been in nightclubs where music uh, is not even being activated anymore. You first music could be activated in the club. Mm-hmm. Now you're activating social media as well. Sana, club. You've yeah. worked with so many DJs in different nightclubs. 
seen it to say it's the same way a small gold can rest at the same. So, first How thing, valid are his points? So, first thing I'll say is we cannot do better. Yes. Number one. Yes. Number two is, again, we are making a mistake mm -hmm. of making a moral argument and not a logical argument. Mm -hmm. Because the Ghana artist feels that it is the responsibility of the DJ, of the Ghanaian DJ to play Ghana music. Mm -hmm. The only part of that I agree with logically is the fact that we are all Ghanaians. So obviously, it is our culture, it is our heritage, it is the vibe that we grew up on, yes. it's ours. So if we own them. But the part where everybody start change their mouth mm -hmm. is when they fail to do what they are supposed to do and they want to shift their blame to somebody else. Okay. It's called show business. Mm -hmm. And it's a business because there's money involved. Mm -hmm. So if an artist goes to the studio with a producer, may pays the producer or like percentage split or whatever, records a song, puts their name on it. That's a music video. Put it out. Mm -hmm. When the streams hit a million, who the money they go in there? They go in there. They go in there. At the end of the day, we we'll enjoy the musical. Mm -hmm. But it is more your responsibility than mine mm -hmm. because everybody is trying to eat. Mm -hmm. The same way you found that you can do music, that's mm -hmm. the same way I found that I could MC. That's the yeah. same way you realize you can DJ yeah. and host on radio and do all of these yeah. things. And we all they look for what? Money. Quacha. Quacha. That's yeah, what everybody money. is looking for. So if I realize that uh, I'm getting booked to entertain people, mm -hmm. I'm doing what they want. Yes. Let me pick the argument from another side. So back in the day, like you were saying, you can activate music in the clubs. Yeah. That's because social media didn't exist. It was yeah. traditional media and then the clubs and all of that. And that means we had proper taste makers. Yes. So you get to decide, okay, this song, Kofi Jama drop a new song. We think we should make this song the biggest song because mm -hmm. they reflect whatever. So make everybody play them already, play it in the clubs. That is full control. That's when, when the sound is changing, you yeah. can blame the DJ, because the, the DJ is playing a, and the media for everything. But we are in a user-generated space right now. Mm -hmm. Social media, when the last time Twitter sent you a message, or mm -hmm. Twitter post what you think about a war in Iraq or something. No, no, no. no, every comment you see on there, every post is from another individual yeah. like you. So it means that we are now the ones determining what is hip. So when you post your video, your reel, mm -hmm. and then you put Odumodu Black, shall it pop you for back? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you come ask me, Another say, if play you are the inside. inside. Then you can't tell me, say, play Kwame Eugene. Why mm -hmm. you know they play Kwame Eugene? Mm -hmm. Why you know put Kwame Eugene mm -hmm. for your video in back? Yeah. Do you understand? It is a, it's, 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 it's a collective thing that mm -hmm. we are all supposed to do. Yeah. But for some reason, as, as an artist and your management, when you realize that your brothers from Nigeria and SA are invading your market, mm -hmm. The same people you bring to the clubs and force us to play their music. Mm -hmm. The same, the Niger DJs that come that you throw money on and not throw for the Ghana DJs who play your song week in, week out. Mm -hmm. I know your different conversation. Yeah. You don't do that for your Ghana DJs, but you do it for the SA DJs and these people. Mm -hmm. And then they come and they are paying DJs when they release music. Mm -hmm. So now they take money steal your people. What have you done about it? Mm -hmm. What you did was to come and insult them. Tell them that... Uh, they are lazy. They are lazy. No. no. You are failing at your job. Mm -hmm. And your job is to sell the product of your music. Yes. So the artists and the artist managers have to find a new way to market their music mm -hmm. because now you have a budget for TikTok dancers. You have mm -hmm. a budget for Dance God Lord, yes. for DWP, for influ influencers. Yeah. What's that when it comes to the DJ? They tell them, say, be in responsibility. Yeah. But the DJ is being paid by the person who booked him. Mm -hmm. And then when the, the person book him and he go and the people say, if they want Palugo, he go play Palugo. Mm -hmm. When they want Salsa, he go play Salsa. Bo -bo -bo. So you know they get gigs where you get gigs and they tell you, say, then they play hip hop, 90s and 20, and, and 80s Yo. hip hop song. Then they play they say, you go there and give you a list of songs. Yes. Weddings. The, the bride and the groom, they sit with you, they tell you the songs we for play for yeah. them. Yeah. So if you go, if you go there now, Back to the user-generated and the tastemakers conversation. Mm -hmm. When the DJs go to a club, like you were saying, now you go if you go Apple Music top ten, mm -hmm. boom play wherever, yes. and then watch the top songs and see mm -hmm. say which one I know have. Hey, because recently Omalis uh, Holy is it Holy Ghost? Mm -hmm. Come the thing inside me. I mm -hmm. played the songs and I was like, what's up? It be okay, but it be some way for me. Yeah, I go outside and play them um, mm -hmm. because it's on everybody's phone, and they are listening to it. Yeah. And another funny, bro, there are so many reasons. Mm -hmm. Another thing is, who do you think is activating those songs in Ghana? 
Then they you. It be one of brothers no. now. One of people. Because we have somebody people call here in Ghana. In Ghana. Who they give Nigerian songs or other foreign songs to add DJs for here, then they pay them. Then they pay them. Yes, it be and that's the difference. Because when I started off as an MC, when you started off as a DJ, they yeah. do your thing. The people who hold you down, you they give them respect. Mm-hmm. Right? But then how many times artists hold you down? Hmm. How many times <laughs> artists sometimes see yes this? How many times artists mm. carry you say, Oh, make I go America. I make I go carry go. you go. Yeah. Oh, I come say, I come and see every time. Go see, go see the things that they do for them, they can report them. The, you understand? Mm-hmm. You are not doing anything, but then it's like your entitlement is based off the fact that DJs, it's like DJs and MCs work for you. Yeah. I think that's that's but, how I but, feel. Bro, I've I I <laughs> make but, I talk but, this no, thing. No, make but, I talk this thing. Okay. I'm yet to come across. I know some artists for Ghana where they carry them as DJs around. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's not generalized. Yeah. It's not yeah. everybody some does. Yeah, take, some some do. But my own boy Aruma, even Mr. Easy Way carry him travel. Yeah, yeah. Be Easy Way carry him travel. Mm. Meanwhile, I had played for a lot of Ghanaian artists. Right. Where the artists travel, me, I fight with one artist because me the arm work at the traveling camp. Uh, you know, if you tell me, Seth, me who I go, go. Uh, but we know they see artists where who they pull up to events with the Maho team, entourage, DJ, this mm. hype man, this and that. But, or call Miami, they are on one echo. Why? Eddie. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be sad. It'd be, it'd be the type of system we will find ourselves in. And, and it'd be sad. I think, I think the world we're inside right now, if you have someone like Pokoli mm-hmm. touring the world, Mm-hmm. And when he tours the world and he goes to these big events that he's been booked at, do you think he's playing Kiddy or he's playing Kelvin Boy no. there or Kamido? Be- no. He's playing Niger artists. You understand? Yeah. The same way if you go somewhere and the brand becomes big, say, or Glastonbury or something. And there are some one or two black hoodies. Oh, of course. I bet for What I say? I for but then the artists want to go alone. It's like they feel like we are just pawns in the thing mm-hmm. that they are using to get to where they want to do mm-hmm. to get to. But you have to understand that the, the game is not the same. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we're having a conversation with uh, uh Gourmet as well, Gomsky yeah. as well, concerning how you know DJs are lazy and back in the day they used and I was like, see, the things, and I'll say this again: the things that DJ Black did back mm-hmm. in his day to make him like Africa's number one and all of that. I can com- confidently tell you that this day and age, somebody has done something that is probably on par mm-hmm. to that thing. But times are different. Mm-hmm. So now it doesn't have the same weight. Yes. Or maybe it can be vice versa. Mm-hmm. You understand? Where somebody can do the barest minimum now mm-hmm. and somebody would quite like to compare him to black. Yes. Because times be different. Yes. Because social media and impact, Dope Caesar mm-hmm. come, everybody, and I told Dope Caesar this straight to her face. Cause then at the MC for mad mm-hmm. and then she 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 they play. So when she come, oh cool, me I be professional, I holla you. Yeah. So she play first song, me I the hype. But the whole time I the watch them, it switch, it transition to second song, third song, fourth song, we are shaking hand. So after we are tell them, say, I no go lie, when I saw your video, I said it be fake, it be cap, what you are doing, or it be pre-recorded. Mm-hmm. And then when you come. And I think uh, she go uh, Varoski in uh, in session. the, the session yeah. stop, and then uh, DJ Sleek was sending me streaks, mm-hmm. and I was like Sleek, it be real. It's like no, bro, it be real. The girl be dope. Mm-hmm. It's like still I foresee for myself. So mm-hmm. I stand there, make she mix to the fourth song. I tell nah, her, say, but but some she so she do that thing. I was like yo, mm-hmm. so I give him one of my meds. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. I take give him, and the reason is. As she they come, mm-hmm. as she they do the thing for mm-hmm. real, all of this came from one single video where it go viral. Yeah. But somebody for work 10 years, 15 years mm-hmm. to get the mm-hmm. kind of fame and name he gets, mm-hmm. that would tell you that the world we day inside is right not the same. Yeah. But our artists are refusing to learn. Yeah. I can tell you things I have done to make sure. Me, my plan is that by the time I retire from emceeing and hype mm-hmm. men or, or hyping or whatever I want to call it, it won't be the same thing again. Okay. Now, when you come, mm-hmm. now it's not a thing where DJ they go play and for uh, be no number hype him out. Be- now, an MC or hype man be a superstar on his own yeah. when they come. Yeah. So he when too, for book um, for like book um, different artists to get in right everything. Yeah. yeah. 
Because at the end of the day, people look at it in a particular way. So mm-hmm. what did I do? I was like, no, nah, I need to be on radio. Mm-hmm. We are doing mixes. Yeah. We are doing match. I think so. When at the enter place, at the understand, say, I need to blend between corporate, formal, informal. Mm-hmm. Because if it's about being cool for the cool kids, mm-hmm. we go fit do them like that. Mm-hmm. But when I go rapaholic, mm-hmm. I wear trouser and shirts, small mm-hmm. chain. Mm-hmm. I know where gloves go there. Mm-hmm. Okay. All of these things be intentional. Yeah. When I go dirty wave, look the part. if I go dirty wave, I they wear gloves, they wear short sleeves, mm-hmm. they wear soldier, mm-hmm. they stay put up. Mm-hmm. Cause it be rave, tidal mm-hmm. rave, I will yeah. do that. Yeah. Or a beach yeah. wear or shorts. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. If they put me to end of year party, mm-hmm. I'll pull up in a long sleeve shirt mm-hmm. or an African wear. I yeah. don't care. Yeah. Because the Ghana we day inside, that be how we day. If for, for look them. If for look them and finesse them. Mm-hmm. So now I have been, I've been lucky enough that it works. You go feature things and no go work. Mm. We are lucky that right now, Kojo Manor brand, F, thanks mm. to things I've done with people like Varoski, Loft, mm. Milzy, AD, mm-hmm. Mike Smith. You understand? Yeah. Small, small affair because we have tried things. What is that Ghana artist trying? Mm. And I am yeah, even that I'm even talking about Ghana artists like mm. this because most of them are doing their very best. Mm-hmm. But the problem is the people behind them. Therefore, also understand them and stop attacking the wrong Because people. when it comes to the business of it, mm-hmm. that's why they are managers. Yes. So if the business, they fuck up, you are to blame. Mm. But if you don't have money the way your competitors have, then you go fit come say Ghana the oh Charlie Charlie, Charlie my guy slim I beg you uh, this one you know somebody know they play the song for me but if you switch and say the DJ be lazy and he's shy mm-hmm. what makes you think that a person who have ego mm-hmm. what makes you think that a person who they put in blood and sweat for the thing they do inside mm-hmm. like do you understand mm-hmm. there's like better ways we could fit resolve this thing than trying to insult people and their hard work mm. I know be DJ but I've as a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, man. my special guest Charlie. today. And uh, Charlie, thank you for the match. I, I really like it. Are you mad? Are you uh, mad? Where, where would you cop some from? Oh, um, so I have a page called uh, the um, Mad Culture, mm-hmm. a Mad Culture on Instagram. Mad Culture. So just send uh, a DM to that mm-hmm. side. Uh, we have t shirts that mm-hmm. we are coming because. We're gonna be like at this point. We yeah. realize that it's, it's 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 for premium. Charlie, we we there. Thank you. Thank I, as you. As you say, as you say, most of the people they shout when. Yeah. But then this is very high quality. Uh, shouts I've, to uh, it, Kojo it, Kusi. It's Charlie, be yeah. too dope, man. It's very high quality. So the price sometimes too they dope. shake people. So I'm doing something that can be more for the masses a bit more. Because even the unit cost of it and yeah. ordering it sometimes it's Miami small. Yeah. So. We will feel do ones with other people then. Nice, I, I, it will come definitely in a, maybe by next week or something. Of course of this December. Straight. We'll see, say that one today. The did a system we'll did a system. Thank inside. you, my brother, for honoring my invitation. And thank you for, for this wonderful match. Are you mad? It's out. In fact, yeah. Charlie, go cop one for yourself. And we yeah. need a chili Christmas. Christmas, you pay <laughs> now on swag. Charlie, on And this time, we don't say outside no more. We, we say, say we, we out the... So how did you come by with the with the with tagline? Are you mad? Are you mad? The um, there's a bit of it where mm-hmm. I'll say um, Breezy have small influence. Breezy DJ Breezy. Breezy, just not that he was actually like involved with it. Okay, but you are fool for this one. Ah, they talk to you are fool for this one. DJ Breezy, you are fool for you are fool for this one. So um, I was a front back. Uh, I still don't remember who was playing, but it's very likely AD DJ or Pizarro. Mm-hmm. One of them was playing. Okay. And it was one of those December nights. And then your man, they do, they drop tunes, they do, they do catch it. Crazy catch it. So then at the point, I was like, you do some one catch it. We got shout. Now you do another catch it. Now I reached some point then. Eh? I'm running out of things to say mm-hmm. when he does that thing. So I wanted to say, you're a fool for this one. But then it's not something I would normally see on the mic. Mm-hmm. So I just watch and like, ah, are you mad? Are you mad? <laughs> but what made the thing special was it's already a slang in the UK. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. People don't know this. Are you mad? Oh, are you mad? <laughs> so, so there were some UK people in the crowd in the corner. You see the way from back there, we open outside. So mm-hmm. it turned corner, corner. Mm-hmm. So people in the one corner way they hear me talk that are you mad? I know Shada, but accents never talk like a car. So we come up like, are you mad? So they think say some UK boy did a mic top. Oh okay. they start making noise. Oi, oi, blood. So they start making noise. They start do the ori, 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 make the vibe small. So now they jam. 
we are talk come again. So I wanted to be sure why they got cuz first I didn't even notice it was mm-hmm. that was a reason. Okay. So I said it again. Mm-hmm. And then for me, that was the end of it. Yeah, jam, your coffee, we go to bed. The next week, the next Friday, yeah. I come out. Somebody come. Say that thing you said the other time. I was like, what? But I forget to say that thing you said the other time. And they kind of worry me where I give them the mic. Are you mad? I said, ah, the thing I talked last week. I ah, forget. You go them. You go them. So then be like the people, some of the people who did it think is a thing that existed already. Oh. So oh, now uh, the wa- the waiters, the bouncers at front back will see me and say, "Are you mad?" Then Afra. now now the the workers, the the the, the, the 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 customers and all the people who come. So me like like I'm saying how I was brought up. If you asked me, Kojovano, what what tagline do you want to use? And you gave me option as "Are you mad?" I will say, "Nah, mm-hmm. I want a clean brand. I don't mm-hmm. want something that someone would think is offensive." Mm-hmm. But the "Are you mad?" came with force. So. It wasn't me. I said that thing two or three times, but way over. It over. Now people they come to me just to come take the mic. And I'll give them the mic and they will say, say, Are, are you, you mad, mad in the mic? Simple. Ke-ke, and they are happy, then they go. Get one for yourself. Are you mad? Yeah. Oh blood. Are you mad? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs>